Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we're here someplace a little different for us today. I don't know if you can see in the background, I'm trying to get trying to get us in here, but there is a bricks and minifig store here in Connecticut. And it's not too far from our Lego store at the West Farms Mall. So we're actually gonna check out bricks and minifigs today and see if they have anything cool. There's definitely a few minifigs I wanna pick up for my city, especially the ones dressed as food. I don't know why, I want food dressed minifigs like the hot dog, the pizza, the watermelon slice guy. So let's see what they have inside. All right, let's check out the shelves in this bricks and minifig shop. This is pretty awesome. They're they're much more filled up since the last time we were here, which was actually quite a while ago. But we've got the roller coaster and the uh, the large city crane. I think that large city crane is pretty awesome. We also I'm seeing a winter village shop that is really hard to find. I'm gonna check that one out. We've got the Minecraft mindset. We've got some classic space that brings my husband back to his childhood. A ton of stuff on the shelves. The yellow submarine, we've got architecture, pirates. Got some great looking boats up there. Got some big figs for Minecraft. We've got some Harry Potter. I'm gonna have to get in closer and, and take a look for myself. I can already see a couple sets that I think we might we might be taken home with us. A lot of Minecraft too, my son would love that. I wish he were here with us. A lot of vehicles. Some friend sets. There's a ton, ton going on on the shelves. Huge. We got vehicles and small things in the cases here. These are $5 each. A lot of different, uh, different stuff going on from different sets. Little mini builds. Got a Christmas tree back there. Some more, oh, there's some more space guys I see. Some superheroes. Pretty cool. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, we got some construction vehicles. That's pretty cool. I need some construction vehicles for my my city area. Check it out. Have you ever guys been to a, a bricks and mini fig store? This is a lot of fun. So then we got like some some bags of bricks over here. So you just get some nice bulk pieces. And then they are actually sorted down here by color. Got some whites, tans. I might pick up some of these extra brick bags just to have some more colors. larger ones here with more mixed pieces. So if you just want like some random bags of Lego, they have random bags of Lego. Need Lego parts. So if you need Lego parts, here is the place to come and you can just sort through a ton of Lego parts. This is a lot of stuff. Oh wow, you can get like, you can get some cool stuff in here. We might have to do a little bit of sorting through here. No, my son would love to come here because he loves, see, I need like window frames. So he loves just coming in and checking out this kind of stuff. And we have tubs here. And let's see, do a small tub, small bag, large bag, medium bag. Let's see, for single pieces, we see cashier, bags must close, lids must fit on tubs. No mini fig parts or pieces. We got bags, we got tubs. Such cool stuff. I might have to kind of rifle through here a little bit because I could definitely use uh, some pieces for mock making. Absolutely. It's also a fun selection of different kinds of base plates. We have a lot of choices for base plates and colors, including different styles of road plates. And then you have smaller base plates too. These are great for building fours in modulars and mocks. And we got plates of various sizes, bolt hulls, bolt pieces. Um, some of the more detailed, retired types of base plates. Oh, those are kind of neat, look at those. So definitely a little bit of everything. Everything going on here. We got, oh, look at this, the Harry Potter. Here's the Hogwarts castle. This will be one of the 
uh, certified used sets. Look at that. And so there we go, $300. You grab the castle. All right, for all you Harry Potter fans, check out the Harry Potter section here that they have with all the different sets that are available. Just getting ready for the new wave of Harry Potter this summer. Check out what you can get at a much better price right now if you haven't picked up any of these sets. You've even got the old and the new burrow here. check out the bricks and minifig store haul that I have in here. So obviously a totally different shopping experience. You'll, you never know exactly what you're going to find when you get to one of these stores and you, you may not leave with anything or with just like a fig or something small, but I do have a box full um, and it's actually kind of an expensive box considering the size of it. But I, I found a few good sets this time. So again, it's like you don't want to go to one of these stores with like an expectation of finding a, a, a modular or finding another retired set kind of thing. You just want to go with an open mind and like see what you get and don't be upset if you don't find what you're looking for kind of thing. Or what is that saying that in preschool? You get what you get, so don't be upset. I don't know. <laughs> So I just, you know, it's about 15 minutes from the mall store, the Lego store that we go to. So why not stop in if we're already that close? Um, might be kind of like, I don't know, like a second thought if I had to drive the hour there not knowing, I don't know, but maybe we're just out for a drive. But as you saw in the, the video there, uh, you can also sift through tons of bricks and stuff now, which you weren't able to uh, a couple months ago when we first checked out the store. Um, when we first checked it out, we really didn't find much of anything. For me, it felt like kind of a wash. Like I was kind of disappointed because you see all these cool videos and you're like, oh, well, this is near a big city. There must be awesome sets in it, but there really weren't. So I guess it just kind of ebbs and flows and you got to kind of roll with the punches on that one. But if you look up the map of franchises, there are really not that many uh, on the East Coast. And certainly this is it around us. Um, so I'm definitely going to be checking it out more often. I guess, you know, every time we go to the Lego store, we really should make the effort to get over there, even if we're 
just looking for a couple of things. Actually, that was the reason I was going. I just wanted to get some of the food things. The pizza guy, the hot dog guy, the watermelon guy, they didn't have any of those. However, I still managed to spend money because I do that. So let's take a look at what's inside and what my plans are for what's inside. So guys, if you wanna see more bricks and minifigs and you wanna see more Lego shopping and you wanna see more Lego city and you wanna see more Lego hauls, make sure to like and subscribe below just so you get the notifications and it really helps out the channel. So let's dig into this box. So there are very nice women in there. They were talked about putting the sets together when they came in and like how cool they were and this and that. Um, you can see from the video, I'm gonna go back and do like a, a more thorough video. We had just come from the, the Lego store release of the Daily Bugle. And I'm gonna say I was like done with my mask after a while of sorting through bricks and things in the bricks and minifigs store. So I was like, I am done. Uh, so let's check out what we got. So first thing is that you saw how you could pack and fill bags from random bricks. So it's like a pick a brick wall at the Lego store or pick and build, except it's just such a variety of pieces. Um, and obviously they're used and you get to choose different sizes. Now I could have filled this better. I know this, but again, uh, the mask situation was kind of killing me, but this was a $20 bag. And oh, I could have packed in tiles and all sorts of things, people, I know. I absolutely know. So like, don't flood the comments with, you could have packed that better, but I was just done and I wanted to give it, uh, I just wanted to like, get the experience in. And what we actually saw in there, and I'm not gonna empty this out because then I'll have to pick it back up, but there were a lot of um, trans clear wall building panels. There were window frames and windows and sort of cool elements I'm looking for for doing modulars. So I think we picked up, there's at least um, 10 clear panels in here and there are also uh, several clear um, curved panels, um, if you wanna call them that. I also needed some more black bricks for my, uh, my arcade mock. And there are some blue trans elements in there. So, you know, I, I did the best I could for sure. But we definitely want to go back. I can't wait to go back actually, because I love sifting. I love sifting through bricks um, because, you know, the pick a brick wall at the mall is nice, but you, you are limited to exactly what's on it. And sometimes you're just looking for other things. And I have mocks in mind and I need more pieces. And um, you can definitely start going down a rabbit hole with BrickLink too. So if I can grab some of them here in good condition, why not? You do just have to make sure that you can distinguish between the old gray and the light blue gray because they, they do um, look different when you put them up together. So I had to pass on a few pieces that I had to compare. So that is a $20 bag and I do uh, say that it has to close. So you can't just have wild pieces sticking out of the top. So there is that, and I'm excited for those pieces in there because as I said, um, I really want to get into making my own mocks, but I do need, you know, uh, panels and window frames and all the things like that. But I uh, have the purchase that I'm really excited for. I will leave for last because it is my most expensive purchase. So that was like the, the little purchase. And then I actually picked up the pizza truck. Okay, it's got the little mini fig in it. I don't know a ton about the pizza truck other than I want to have the pizza truck in the city. So I'm guessing that it is mostly complete. We'll have to take a look and see. Uh, it did not come with a box or instructions and uh, the sets are actually really quite clean. This one could probably just use a, a dusting off and maybe a little bit of a wipe down, but in general, a lot of the sets are in cases. So that's nice as well. That really uh, minimizes the dust. I really contemplated heavily on that city crane that you saw. It was $180 and I, I have seen it at a better price, um, but then I would already have it in no shipping, but it seems super big for the city. And I have another construction set on my mind for the city, so I did pass on that. Um, but I thought the pizza truck would look great, uh, new. Uh, it looks like new, the best price with shipping I could get would be about $30, so I paid 15 for it. So. I have it, it's built, it can go right in the city. I'm hoping to make like a, a food truck area. Now this next set, guys, this is for my mock. So as you know, I don't have a ton of pieces for mocks yet because we just haven't been um, around long enough to collect them. So I'm kind of looking at city sets, old city sets, some new city sets. Um, sometimes people sell like remocks of a set on eBay. 
And that will give me the starter pieces to kind of get something going because it takes like, it really takes a lot of bricks to make a 16 by 32 building, let alone a 32 by 32 building. So if I can start with a base and then use my pieces to add to it, I think that's a, a good way to start as I build up my collection of pieces. So I found this old city set. And again, there is no, um, there's no instructions with that. I'm not even sure what set it is, okay, to begin with. It does say hotel on the front. So if anyone knows, I will do some investigating at some point, but I will leave that in the, you can leave that in the comments. But what I love is it has a, resol a revolving door in the front. This might not even be the complete uh, version of this. I have no idea. But what I did see uh, to get started with are cool window elements, this cool door element, okay, lots of tan. There are tan columns and then tan bricks. Uh, there is uh, tiles. <laughs> Anytime I see light blue gray tiles, I'm like, woohoo! So I really love this door, this front door, but it did come with, it came with a bus. It looks like a tourist bus, like a, a sightseeing bus. So it came with that. It came with um, a very tiny car and it came with an ice cream truck. So again, very cool little elements that I can take apart and reuse somewhere. So again, I don't know that if this is all supposed to be one set. This is like a, a hotel sightseeing tour. So maybe this goes with the hotel. I'm guessing it's an older set. Oh, it did come with this little, um, little gas station. Oh, that one's dirty. A uh, little gas station thing. And there's another guy in here. So yeah. This is, uh, whatever this set is, I thought it would be perfect for uh, mocking into another building in my city. Uh, inside there is not a whole lot, very simple. There's two bedrooms, looks like there's two like hotel rooms. Um, could probably do something about those stickers, like, like remove them. Um, but yeah, very cute. There's flowers out front, little, little planters. There's masonry bricks used for planters, so I, anytime, there's masonry bricks around the outside. So anytime I see those little elements, I, I totally get excited just because I see the possibilities of them. I see the possibility of this set, not necessarily this set going straight into the city like this. So this right here was $40. I don't know if that is actually good or bad. That's the one thing I did not check on. A lot of times I, I know my sets, I can go on to Bricklink real quick while I'm there, check it out or I've just been searching for the sets long enough that I know what the prices are. Uh, this I have no clue about, so I'll have to do some investigating on it, but I did like a lot of these pieces in here. You know, you've got some big plates on the floors. Just, it's just fun stuff. So I think I can do something with this and if we got some vehicles for the city, they can take a tour around. Um, looks like inside there is even uh, some chairs for like people that have coffee and, uh, yeah, visit the museum, sightseeing tours, hop on, hop off. It's like a good city vehicle. I'd love to get the set number, see if there's anything else from the set maybe that I'm missing or can upgrade it, or maybe I can find another one of these cheap and uh, have some more bricks to double it up. I don't know. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but I picked it up just the same. Here's a, so we got the pizza truck and we got the sightseeing truck in a hotel. But now here is the set set that I picked up, okay? So let's move these out of the way without destroying them. And I, this little ice cream, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a three-wheeled ice cream vehicle. I know we're gonna have an ice cream, um, uh, shop in mock that I'm working on collecting for and so this would be cute as a way to um, deliver ice cream around town and have the ice cream truck going we can have one of these maybe in a smaller park area kind of thing so a lot of possibilities for uh, reuse somewhere but this is oh wait there's another piece to it I forgot oh never mind so there's one more piece to this so let's see what that is it is uh, this. <laughs> this, this is I don't know. Um, it is Exhibition Museum. So it's a museum. Oh, look, it's a minifig in there. There's like a caveman 
There's a caveman minifigure in there with like a little, um, yeah, that's super cute though. I did not look at the sign inside. What I saw again were um, the, the tiles and the plates and things like that. So I guess it's like a little museum sightseeing tour thing. So now I can see where this goes with the bus, with the tour bus for sure. And then the hotel probably, you know, has a connection with the um, museum tour. So yeah, so I think this will be really neat. I'm not sure. Um, I just love the minifig and I love the, the thing in the background, the stickers put on Cricut. Um, but maybe we can use it, maybe we can make a museum mock out of it or use it for the museum. We actually have a science museum in our city. So this might be a cool addition to it somehow. What I would love to see is actually, I'd love to make a skyscraper museum because um, that's in Hartford, Connecticut. The Science Center is like a big skyscraper type of building, all glass. So I think that would be really neat. I have no clue why why you have these hang hanging things here. <laughs> Let me see if I just can break the set. But yeah, some really cool like, like elements inside. And I love this little minifig. He's pretty sweet. Uh, caveman kind of guy, awesome. Awesome, and a little plaque. So that was, we'll have to definitely look up the number of that set. Now, okay, let's get back to where I was going here. So we have that. Now, this one. And start bringing out the pieces. So we have, let's see if I can move this out of here. We've got, we've got a horse and a carriage to start with. We have, oh, wait. Let's see. We have a, a skating rink here. I believe we'll just go back together like that nicely. Uh, couple people. Girl with an apple. Not really sure about that one. Oh, just warmly. She's not gonna stand there we go. We've got the presents. Woman, we've got a little stand here. Some more trees. We have an ice skater, very cute. Very cute, definitely a different ice skate than we're accustomed to seeing. Like she must be, oh, that must be her other ice skate right there. And we have a man with a plate of cupcakes, a baker maybe. Let's see, probably a little top heavy with those. Uh, cakes in hand. We do have an owl, so maybe, I don't know, maybe that goes up on top of one of these. I'm not 100% sure. This is not in there very tightly. That looks like it's going to knock it right over, so maybe not. So I don't know, maybe the owl doesn't go with it. We'll have to investigate. But here is the big piece for this one. And this is the Winter Village Bakery scene. Um, the light brick is fading, but it is, oh, it's just barely working. Uh, so here is the Winter Village Bakery, and it did come with the instruction manual. So it's set 10216, and this is, I don't know the year on this, but it is an older retired Winter Village set, quite old actually. Um, definitely goes way back. I'd love to see if we can get a substitute light brick, maybe, because um, it's definitely petering out there. You can see in the back. So it's an open back, like the other Winter Village sets, more of a Dow House look to it. So this set comes with the, the uh, ice skating rink. It comes with the horse and carriage, the little stand for selling hot cocoa. And there is a, oh, the cat. If, if it fits, it sits, right? I think. There's one more piece in here. <laughs> There's a sign that goes on to the end of this. The bakery, the pretzel, looks like a pretzel. Oh, we got some things, little extra things here. So yeah, this is, let's see where that, those little pieces go, I'm not sure, but this is it. So I got the Winter Village Bakery and I paid $200 for this. 
Uh, that definitely is a going used rate for these sets. This set new uh, is well over uh, $400 in most cases. Um, and used can range anywhere from $200 to up to $400. And I think the white looks really pretty good. It needs a good dusting for sure. I think it just did come in. Um, but other than that, I haven't checked for completeness. Uh, from the sounds of it, it is supposed to be as complete as it can be at the moment. Uh, so we'll go with that. But I love it. I love having it for my winter village that will be setting up this year. So that's it guys. That is my, uh, my Bricks and Mini Figs haul. So they did have a lot of cool stuff there and I can't wait to go back and pick some more bricks and uh, see what else I can get to um, mock into my city or add to my city. And uh, you never know, you never know what you'll find. So definitely um, make sure to stick around and we'll take you back to Bricks and Mini Figs really soon. I, I imagine I'm going to want to go back uh, pretty quick to get some more bricks at least. So uh, we'll see you in the next video. Happy building and uh, have a great day. And in case you wondered, this is what happens with Lego boxes in this house. So this is the kitty. She curled up, she had to get in, take a seat. Uh, good thing it was empty, but I don't think she'd care if it were empty actually. She's willing to sit on Lego. She's proven that to us. And then uh, I have, have this other one who's curled up underneath the table waiting to, uh, I don't know what she's waiting for. She's had her lunch. She's just, she's kind of in dog mode right now. She had her fun this morning. So this again is a pretty awesome little haul. So we've got the Winter Village set there with all of its accessories. So it is complete in that respect that all the accessories that are sold with the set are there. And then let's take a look over here. So as I mentioned, I got the pizza truck. I'll put that in the city for sure. And then here's this, this crazy little um, museum set that I have no idea about, but I'm looking forward to finding out more about it. This is kind of a close up of the, the fig that was in there. That's him. And he was actually standing in front of this sort of diorama. And there's actually, if you, you notice, there's like a little display sign in there. It's so really, I've not seen this set before, so I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm guessing that it came with this tour bus because it has that same exhib exhibition museum sticker on it. And then, oh, this, get a close up of this for you. So I don't, I just love the elements. There are a lot of good elements in there that I think could make a cool mock, including this revolving door here. So even that, that was pretty fun. I'd love to just see how that's built. And you have these cool pieces here. And of course there are tiles. And then there's a lot of good elements in there. I'm sure we can make this into something pretty cool, but I can't wait to find out what set it is. And then here's my close up of my bag here with um, different elements and stuff. I can take those stickers off really easily. I tried already when I was in there, uh, just some different things. Maybe not the best packing job as I mentioned, but I did get some cool pieces. And then we just have these other little, little extras. Who knows if they came with the set or not, um, we'll have to see. But that's it. That is bricks and minifigs and a cat in a box and a dog under the table. And uh, it's a good haul. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with the store. Can't wait to go back. So that's it for now.